Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Saturday, April the 30th. And in the last couple of videos, I've looked at using a nano VNA vector analyzer, and I'm really, uh, really excited about using it. So today I want to um, test my HF loop antenna. This is the so-called Alex loop. It was designed by PY1AHD down in Rio. And I really like it. Uh, what I like about it is it's got a bandpass filter characteristic to it. This is the tuning here. Uh, the bandwidth works from about 7 megahertz to 30 megahertz. I'll set it down at 7 and we'll see how that works later on. It's got a fairly narrow tuning, which is good if you want to pull a signal out of the QRM. QRM. It's also directional as well with the directionality in the plane of the loop. Um, I've got some big power lines here, so this antenna has proved its worth in getting rid of power line noise. In the last couple of years, uh, it's been pretty bad. This year it's not too bad, but before that it was bad. I think they may have had some sort of internet or power line carrier on those wires. Uh, it's quietened down now, but at one time it was like around minus 90 dBm. It's gone down to about a hundred, minus 100, minus 110 dBm noise. So let's go in and see what the setup's going to be. So I've got the same setup as I used before. There's the Nano VNA, uh, and I'm using a PL259 to SMA adapter to go into port one. Those are my three terminations. I've got an open, a short, and a 50 ohm load. And right now we're looking at the screen. If you want to work directly with the instrument, uh, you can use a stylus and just tap on the display, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and just set it up like that. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to use the software, the VNA software, which connects via USB to the instrument. And we'll do a calibration and we'll do a measurement using the software because uh, I can capture it in Camtasia. So I'm going to switch over to Camtasia now. Okay, so I'm in Camtasia now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect. Okay, so I'm on Virtual COM port 5. When you get the instrument, you have to install the virtual driver for it. Um, so there's a procedure. Um, there's a, a program called Zadig, which you use, and that'll install the virtual POM, uh, COM driver. So let's connect. So now we're connected. So let's start our um, our sweep at like one megahertz, even though the uh, loop works from seven to 30, let's start at one. And then we'll go to 30 here. 30. Okay. Now we're going to do um, a calibration. Okay, so we're going to go into calibrate mode. So I'm going to take the PL259 off. Break the, um... Okay, so first thing we're going to do is put the open on. So the open's on now. And I'm going to hit open. On the instrument itself, you see a little blue line going from 1 to 30. Okay, so that's done. Then the next thing we're going to do is put the short on. So there's the short. Okay, so the blue line went across. And then we're going to do the 50 ohm termination. The perfect termination here. Okay, so the 50 ohm is on now. It's the load. Okay, so that's done. And now I'm going to put the actual antenna on. Okay, so we've done the calibration and um, what I've done is I've made sure I've had the correct uh, chart format here, the SWR on port S11. If you don't have that set up correctly, um, you can't get the data properly. So I got that set up and we've done the calibration. So let's get the data. We hit the get the data and that's what I've got here. Um, right now I'm tuned around. You can see it's a very, very sharp notch here. So, like I said, it's a bandpass filter. It looks like a, actually a notch filter on the SWR response. Right now, we're just over 7 megahertz, and the uh, SWR is it's around uh, like about 1.5. So, let me tune up, and we'll see what happens as I tune. Uh, so, there's a really good response there. I'm just working on the unit itself. There we go. So, let's get the data again. So now we're up to about 10 megs, and the SWR is, again, it's pretty low. It's around um, 1.8, something like that. And we can 
tune up again. So there we go, that's around a little bit higher, it's around two. So you can see then as I do the tuning, we can move this from seven all the way up to about 30 megs.